Okay, guys, um, almost done. Don't be afraid to use a spoon uh, to spread your pudding. Now, you don't want to drown your pudding where it's like, you know, soup. You want to be able to cover it, but you don't want to put too much. So you kind of really have to pay attention and, and eyeball that, okay? And um, they'll put in a, another layer, and then I'm going to put the... Um, the uh, top layer on and until you get done with the cookies you can spread the crumbs because everything is just underneath that's okay she's opening up some of the cookies for me good let these vanilla wafers so this is a really cool dish we were just talking about how you know we were raised on um, banana pudding and Monique her family didn't eat banana pudding um, as much so that's not a, a thing that her family uh, enjoys it's almost like you know um, chitlins if you were raised on them you probably like it if you weren't raised on them you love chitlins right mm -mm. no <laughs> or oatmeal yeah she she doesn't like oatmeal we never ate it as kids we needed as kids Those parents hated it all right and I love oatmeal Love it, love it, love it. So this can go really, really quick, guys. You see how it's just just um, layering, just like you would mac and cheese. You do it the old-fashioned way, if, you know, some people make a, a good sauce. All right. Now, um, Nick is cutting up her bananas one, one by one. Sometimes if it's just me and I'm doing it by myself, I'll just cut the knife. I mean, cut the knife. Use the knife and slice it right over the cookies. But if you have a cutting board, that's that's even better. You want to do this kind of quick because you do not want your bananas to turn brown. All right. This is one of those dishes too that you can't let it sit in the refrigerator after a couple of days. I I don't usually eat it, so I usually make them for um, events, holidays. I make banana pudding uh, again. Cause, Give me another banana cake. Okay, I'm I, need yeah, to I'm going through these cutting. bananas pretty quick. Oh, I was going to say, too, how many bananas do you buy? I usually buy uh, anywhere between um, 8 to 10 bananas, depending on uh, the crowd. So if you're having a lot of people, you want to get at least six boxes of cookies. And Nabisco cookies aren't cheap. They're almost like $4 a box, three eighty something like that. Every now and then you could catch them on sale. But you want to... Um, Make sure you're not going to run out. I mean, I've made this dish so many times that when I was younger, I would run out of bananas, I'd run out of cookies, I didn't make enough pudding. So now I make enough pudding, I just, even if I have to pour some out at the end, I'd rather have too much than not enough. And I always buy extra cookies just to be on the safe side and extra bananas because I don't want to run out of anything. You want it to be right. You know, you don't want to have a dish that you messed around and messed up mess it up and you gotta yeah and it's not a full pan nothing worse than that now guys also you can personalize this you can make um little small miniature bowls of banana pudding because oh, yeah, lonnie was gonna do it in me yeah jars. yeah lonnie was gonna uh my sister she always comes up with these creative ideas and uh you know making um uh, little personal size banana puddings or you know other desserts as well all right, this is looking good. We're getting to the point. How are we looking on cookies over there? Do we have more uh, full size? Yep. One? It's not the. Yeah, mm -hmm. I want to take those mini cookies out of there because she had that for something else. Okay. Okay, I'm ready for some more pudding. All right, one more pudding in this pan. This is looking so good, guys. I can't wait. Once this is done, you want to leave it in the refrigerator for at least. Um, three to four hours to chill all right and you can use a couple hours it's done depending on uh, how cool your refrigerator gets because you figure this this pudding has boiled and it's thick and you want it to be nice and cold because it's going to thicken up in the refrigerator and you're going to be able to slice it and so it's kind of cool how it works you won't get like um jello or anything like that but you will be able to to, to slice it You know, on my pan, I think I'm going to top it off. Um, yeah, I'm going to do one more layer, and then I'm going to top it off. All right? We'll be back with the final layer.